So we're going to use the VLOOKUP for exact matches. So generally, the VLOOKUP function uses three arguments. The lookup value, which in this case will be the item number, the table location, and the column number. So the table location is on our items list. So this is our table location. So it's going to be the items list table that we need to look in, and the column, depending on what row we want to return from. So when we use a VLOOKUP, we can use it with an exact match. So whatever we're looking up has to be exact. When we find the description, if it's not exact, it'll return an NA for not applicable. So the first thing we need to do is put in our VLOOKUP. So what we're looking up, the common denominator for the description, the price and the deposit is the actual item number. So where are we looking this up? So then we go to our items list and choose the table. So I'm just going to stay here. I'm not going to click back in my invoice. I'm going to use my arrow, sorry, my comma. And then what I want to say is which column do I want to return from? So if you think of once you've highlighted your table, that's column one, two, three, and four. So I want to return the description column, which is number two. So then I'm just going to put on the end another comma and false because I want an exact match. Control and enter double click and copy it down. So I'm going to do the exact same for price. So I'm using equals VLOOKUP. So I want, where do, what do I want to look up? So remember the common denominator is the item. Where do I want to look up the item? Where's the table sitting? Well, it's on another worksheet. I'm going to take in the whole table again, put my comma on, and this time I want to return from the unit price, which is column three. Three, control and enter. Now, I haven't put false on the end this time, but I do need to add that false if I want an exact match. So what I can do is just click back into my formula, put my comma and select my false. Control and enter and double click. Once again for the deposit equals VLOOKUP. What am I looking up? My item. Where am I looking up my item? In my table. What column do I want to return from number four? Do I want it to be exact? I certainly do. Control and enter takes me back, tells me I want a 12% 12 12 deposit, etc. I copy down. So this is all good so far. So we've done the actual VLOOKUP. But now what we want to add is in my deposit, if my deposit, if a deposit is being paid, so then I want to take 12% off the total cost. So it'd be two multiplied by the price minus. 12%. But the only way I'm going to know if a deposit has been paid is if we have something in cell B3. So is B3, make sure B3 is not blank. So if B3 is blank, then I don't want a deposit. But if B3 is not blank, then I do want a deposit. And that deposit will come off the total price for the total cost. So I'm just going to click back inside B7. So I'm going to start with an if. So I'm going to say if is blank, checks whether a reference to an empty cell and returns true or false. So if B3, remember I'm going to absolute this because I don't want it to adjust when I copy down. So if B3 is blank, then return a zero. Otherwise, continue and do the VLOOKUP. So what I need to understand now is that I'm ending with the red bracket. I'm just going to put a black bracket on the end. Control and enter and copy down. So now when I ensure B3 is blank by right clicking and clearing my contents, the deposit is shown as zero. So now what I want to do is I want to click into my cell total cost. And this is where I want to put in my calculation. So usually it would just be the quantity multiplied by the price. So that's what I'm going to start with to get my base calculation equals the quantity multiplied by the price, control and enter. So that's the total cost, which is absolutely fine. But because we've added a deposit, so now I'm going to say, OK, so if there's an X in that cell, they've paid a 12% 12 deposit, I want that taking off the price. So I'm going to think, put this in a bracket. So I want this to be calculated. And then I'm going to multiply that with 
So I'm just going to click now and I want number one. So just think of the one as being 100%. So one minus F7. Okay, so 100%, you take your 12% off, 88% of the amount still has to be paid. So you could put 100 in there with a percentage sign on the end, which I'll show you in just a second, or you can just leave the one. So I do my control and enter. It's now giving me the total price of two times multiplied the quantity and taken off 12%. I'm just going to copy that down. That's brilliant. So now I'm just going to clean my contents in cell B3 and it takes it back to the full amount wanting the quantity multiplied by the price. So I just want to show you the one signifies 100%. I can just put 100% in there. It's just quicker to actually put the one in there and you get the same outcome.